Hello and welcome to Kerala Gram Market. I think this is the latest we have ever started this thing. So the NSE data was released only 20 minutes back or 10 minutes back I think. And I didn't really want to do this thing without FII data. So what's, what do we have on agenda? 10 minutes of Nifty, USD, INR and Bank Nifty. We look at open interest, we look at charts, we look at FII data. And we try to form an informed opinion on what the market is likely to do tomorrow and what do we do regardless of what the market does, right? So let's get started in earnest because we're already kind of late. So number one, chart Nifty. Nifty has sustained above the 100 DMA and it has invalidated the pattern which was formed yesterday which is a evening star doji. Right, so it's not confirmed, evening star doji is gone. So now the market is looking bullish. However, if you look at it in a shorter time frame, the only thing we know for a fact is that this is strongly in an uptrend. Why? Because 50 DMA is above, 100 DMA is above 200 DMA, sorry, HMA. 50 hourly moving average is above 100 hourly moving average is above 200 hourly moving average and the stock price is above all four of them. And now there's a very clear hourly channel running. Now this Nifty is going to follow this channel, right? Now, obviously it is testing the top of the channel, so you have to be careful, but there is no doubt that the trend is up, right? So the trend is for sure up, but you have to be careful that it is the top of the hourly channel. So now there are three conflicting things at play, right? One is the short term trend is up, no questions. The long term trend is down because we still haven't formed a higher high, right? We have not confirmed reversal. This is nifty. So this is not reversal. So you have to be careful also. Now it's not a good thing to buy at the top of a channel. You can do it if the channel breaks and there is a breakout, right? So you can't buy at the top of the channel because the channel top is the resistance. You can only buy if the resistance is broken and if there is a breakout from this channel. Or you can also buy if it goes below and then there is a price action which shows that it is going to again test up the top of the channel. So there are only two plays here. <coughs> if the channel top is broken, buy. If it falls below. And if you get an entry at let's say 16350 or something with the price action uh, which supports uh, a bullish momentum, then you can go along again. But at this point, as of now, this is not a buy simply because we need a break above the channel to continue buying. This point, surely buy. This point, surely buy. This point, wait for the break of the channel, right? So. So that is point number one. Let's look at NIF Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, it's a little tricky for me because 200 DMA is a level. Bank Nifty has always respected. So I don't really want to go against the 200 DMA of Nifty. So I'm at a little bit of a wait and watch here. I'm confident about long Nifty. At least I'm confident about not shorting Nifty, right? But I'm not very confident about long Bank Nifty for the simple reason that 200 DMA is not going to be very easy to break for Bank Nifty. And finally, USDNR charts. There's a dip today, but again, the long term trend is up. There's no reversal signal, so it is still along. Now, let's look at open interest charts of Nifty. So, we made a change now. We always look at uh, open interest chart of Nifty like this, uh, not on the option chain anymore. So, 28 July expiry, which is a monthly expiry. Equal number of calls and puts at 16600. However, humongous puts at 16500. Some calls at 16600. A uh, lot of puts at 16500. Bullish open interest of 1.3. So I would say that it is likely that we will see upward momentum. Also, if you look at the last few days, 16500 has witnessed a lot of call writing. So Oh, largely PCR option chain, the OI related data is all screaming bullish. Now let's go to FIDI data. This gap has narrowed further. The puts are catching up with calls. Sorry, the calls are catching up with puts. FI bought 20k calls, sold 30k puts, which is super bullish. It's bought 20k calls and sold 30k puts. Both of this is bullish. FIA futures data 2500 crore futures bought bullish 
1800 crore stocks bought bullish so so net net right the market is bullish and a break above the uh, early channel can trigger upward momentum a dip with a bullish price action is also a buying opportunity basically as long as we are inside that channel inside the small early channel uh, it is a bullish trend and not a bearish trend so what is my trade uh, buy on dips with bull call spreads uh, i do not say buy on dips because we are saying strategy long nifty on dips with bull call spread short puts bull put spread etc why because the channel has to be broken right if early channel broken then buy calls buy futures with tight stop again so basically this is a very nuanced one because see i agree that market is bullish and all that but you can't go long something at a short term resistance inside the top of a channel right if it is broken yes you can probably be long even till 17200 right? i mean sorry i should not predict the level but 200 dma is at 17200 right so it can go quite a bit up there's no question about that at all but the important point here is that you cannot be going long into a market when it is facing a resistance so what's my strategy i'll wait here to see if there's a buy on dip setup if not if it breaks i'll again go long till wherever the breakout lasts till right but at this point i'm going to be a little cautious because this is running into the top of the channel right so so what do we do we can do theta selling on the weekend on put side predominantly slightly otm puts um, 16500 is forming a great support as you can see from the charts so that's okay but you have to be careful because if it pulls back on this channel it can go to 16300 levels also inside this channel worst case it can even test 16000 levels but that i think is very unlikely but as of now nifty story is the story of this channel right so this is our analysis for today we'll see you again on sunday night very late uh, we started so i'll st stop very late thank you so much guys for joining we'll see you again tomorrow as usual please take care and keep your capital